Pop Squad. Coming at you. I have a hamburger here that I'm let getting cold. It's from Five Guys. I don't know why I did that. I actually want to have a warm hamburger, but I'm stupid. That was a bad song. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to my show. Uh, Juice World. That's what we're going to listen to. No, it is not a chain of smoothies. Uh, a smoothie shop chain like Jamba Juice. Hello, kitten. Are you coming over? Uh, it is Gerard Anthony Higgins. Jared? Jared. Probably Jared. Uh, Jared Anthony Higgins, born 1998. Oh, he died in 2019. Uh, I did not know that. Known professionally as Juice World. Uh, ba 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 was an American rapper, singer, songwriter. He is considered to be a leading figure in the emo rap and SoundCloud rap genres, which garnered mainstream attention during the mid-late 2010s. His stage name was derived from the film Juice from 1992, uh, and he stated it represents taking over the world. I don't remember the movie Juice. Oh, sure, okay. I, I remember that, with Tupac in it. Uh, I don't think I saw it. Higgins began his career as an independent artist in 2015 and signed a recording contract with Grade A Productions and Interscope Records in 2017. He gained recognition with his now Diamond Certified 2018 single, Lucid Dreams. Not sure if I've ever heard that. Uh, I was drunk then which peaked at number two on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. It was also included in his triple, plat Ooh, triple platinum debut studio album Goodbye and Good Riddance in 2018 alongside the singles All Girls Are the Same. No, they're not. Uh, Learn With Me, Wasted, and Armed and Dangerous, all of which... Excuse me. All of which charted on the Hot 100. He then collaborated with Future. Uh, I need to listen to some Future. Uh, on the mixtape World on Drugs from 2018. And released his second album, Death Race for Love, in 2019. It contained the hit single, Robbery. And became Higgins' first number one debut on the Billboard 200 in the U.S. Uh, Higgins died following a drug overdose on December 8th, 2019. His First posthumous album, Legends Never Die, in 2020, matched chart records for most successful posthumous debut and for most U.S. top 10 entries from one album. Wow. While the single Come and Go with Marshmallow, love Marshmallow, became Higgins' uh, second song to reach number two on the Hot 100. His second posthumous album, Fighting Demons, was released in 2021 alongside the documentary film Juice World Into the Abyss and contained the U.S. Top 20 single, Already Dead. Wow, that sucks. I did not know he died. 21 years old, drug overdose. Uh, what sort of drug? Heroin? Death. Federal agents on route, suspected guns and drugs on the plane. Law enforcement officials later revealed they found seven, uh, 70 pounds of marijuana. Big deal. Uh, several members of several unknown pills, including allegedly swallowing multiple Percocet pills to hide them while police were on board the plane. Sergeant, that's a bad idea. Oh God, what a big stupid way to die, poor guy. Um. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to listen to Juice World, and we're going to listen to a song called High Tide. I know nothing about this other, well, I know nothing about the song at all, but everything I know about Juice World, you just heard. Uh, let's go. It's two minutes, three seconds, super quick. Very curious about it. It sounds like he has a really good, or had a really good sense of uh, rap, hip-hop, pop music uh, kind of feel. Um, curious. The best Ali Melon Bailey Best is young Drowning in high time I sit back and watch the time fly Then I pretend that I'm alright Use my hellfire some sunshine Looking at my angles Thanks to Pegasus, I almost gave myself a headline Dirty money clean by tears New fake rolls Sweat into my eyes, 
song um i think he said something about dungeons and dragons but i don't know if that's true so i gotta back up a little bit yeah it's uh, uh it's weird to listen to music like this that isn't as crazy weird experimental as some of the stuff in the last few days because i have a actually a much harder time trying to decipher what this is about and I really need to listen to the lyrics some more, so I'm gonna back up even more. Does nobody listen to these lyrics when people write music like this? This guy is clearly, <laughs> clearly looking for help. Everything was better when he was a kid. Yeah, because you didn't know anything. You hadn't had your heart ripped out and stomped on. You hadn't had you hadn't been abused. You hadn't been treated like shit by the system and by your family and friends and random people who are jerks and bad dreams. I mean the middle section here where that voice comes in and everything is evil and Oh, man, just like the whole song is... Somebody help me. Kind of a backwards feel to the music, just not fitting in right. Wow. Yeah, I don't know how... I don't know how you could listen to that song and even think that this guy was... Doing all right. When did this come out? Was this after his death? High Tide Year. Juice World. Juice World. High Tide Year. He died in 2019. Looks like this came out in 2019, too, so. Yeah, jeez, God, not, not a happy song. It sounds great. It's a great sounding song. It's a really cool sounding song, but very mellow, hanging out sort of song. Like it's definitely a song you would want on in the background that you don't necessarily listen to because it sounds better than the lyrics make it turn out to be if you're paying attention. Pretty song. Re I mean, really, a pretty song. And I would absolutely listen to more by him because, I mean, if he's worked with Marshmallow, I love Marshmallow. I love EDM. I love electronic music. And his, if his style fits with that and he was cool with doing that, uh, yeah, I want to hear that. That sounds fantastic. Uh, man, I'm so... Did not expect this guy to have died. And especially in such a pointless way like don't don't do that that that's 
it's really not worth it. Just get get in trouble with the cops instead. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you don't get shot by them, I guess that's the other part. Um, I like this. I will listen to more by him. Um, send me some other suggestions, and we'll add them to the list. I might have a few already, but this was the first one that I noticed. So, uh, yeah, I like I liked it. I'm just sad because uh, because it's sad that he died, and this was the music he made, and it was already sad. So, God, that sucks. Pop Squat. Check it out. Please like, subscribe, and share. Yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> Have a good day.